which sounds like this. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a video on the things that I love about my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Now there are many things that I do love about my Porsche, but uh, I had to kind of narrow it down because otherwise the video would go on for a very, very long time. Um, there are a couple of things in this video that I mentioned in my fascinating features video that I did about this car in the last video I made. So be sure to check that out because there are some absolute gems in there. Some very weird but wonderful features to see. But other than that, let's get into it. So the first thing that I really love is the headlining. And believe me when I say it, I've mentioned this before, but it is soft as rabbit fur. And I've got two rabbits and I can vouch for that 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 they are very it's very soft very soft uh, rabbit fur headlining and of course it goes from the a to the b c and d pillars so it, it's all over the roof and you get lots of it but yeah it's just it's good to look at it feels good and yeah i really love the headlining the next thing that i really love is the split glass tailgate Predominantly you get those in like uh, estate cars and I really do love estates and I would happily have one over a saloon just for that feature because well, it's magnificent. I mean, imagine you've got lots of shopping and you don't want to lift up your very heavy tailgate, which this car has, it's very heavy. And you just open up the little glass uh, tailgate, and get your little items in or out of. Uh, I, I just really love it. It's such a satisfying feature. Next thing I love is the air conditioning in the glove box. Um, if you're like me and you love chocolate milk, it is an absolute godsend to have aircon in on a summer's day as well. And having chocolate milk in there, it's, it's a brilliant feature. It's not a feature I've seen in any other car apart from my one. So yeah, really love that one. The next thing I love is the amount of protection you have from the sun. I don't think this was predominantly thought about for the UK market, but the amount of sun visors we got is unbelievable. I've got, I've got five of them, and I also have a sun strip here as well. So it means your eyes are safe and you won't get sunburns. It, it, I think it's a tremendous feature, and I, it's the little things that just really go a long way, I think, and five sun visors is definitely one of them. The next thing I love about this car is the air suspension which comes standard on the turbo model. Um, I love the noise it makes when you get out of the car, it goes it's, it's a great noise. But yeah, I, I, love, I love the feature in general. I haven't used it much, but uh, you have many different settings to use of the air suspension. Right now I have it in the middle um, setting, so it still sits quite high considering how, um, even though it's in the middle. But you can also have it in higher setting because obviously this is a, the Cayenne was actually built not just to be an SUV to drive around town, but it's actually a very competent um, off-roader as well. So if you have it in a higher setting, you can do lots of adverse camber and uh, lots of hill climbing. I don't really know much about off-roading, but you can probably tell, but you can climb many rocks and many hills with your higher setting and your diff locks there as well if you really need it. And yeah, it looks like a G-Wagon when it's really slammed up high. It's quite a funny spectacle. And then of course you can put it on the lower setting so it's slammed like a Vauxhall Corsa. And it, well, I presume it's good for sporty driving. I haven't actually tried it myself yet. I really ought to do so. But yeah, in general, I really do love the air suspension feature. Another thing, of course, I really do love is the power plant underneath the bonnet, which is the magnificent M48.50 V8 twin turbo engine. Now there's lots to admire about the engine, but what is really tremendous is how pleasing to the eye the engine bay is in general to look at. I mean, it's just stunning. You've got the lovely plastic surrounds around the engine itself, and they all have like the fluids around the engine bay, and it's just all neatly uh, sorted out in such a very satisfying way. And then you have the engine itself. It's such a lovely thing to look at. It, it, it didn't have to make the engine look pretty, but they did they did a very good thing about it and then you have the performance sides of things this twin turbo v8 puts out a rather fruity 450 horsepower and a lovely waft of 620 newton meters of torque and that is 
That is quite a lot of power. For something that was made nearly 20 years ago, that is obscene performance. And it will get you to the 0 to 60 sprint in a rather brisk 5.6 seconds, which is, it's just crazy. I mean, the amount of cars this would have gapped back in its day is, it's off the charts, really. And if that's not enough power for you, you can simply map this car and get an additional 50 horsepower and an extra 100 newtons of torque. And then, well, you're getting onto the big stuff there. And then, of course, at the engine, you get a brilliant V8 soundtrack. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best sounding V8 in the world, but it has a very mean and thuggish uh, soundtrack, and it's quite discreet, which sounds like this. Then of course you've got the power delivery of this V8 engine because nothing happens before 3k RPM but as soon as you get the parts at 3k RPM, like now, it all comes and the car comes alive and you get a bucket of torque that kind of throws you back in your seat. It's so fun and so addictive. The whole sensation of the way this car kick down, kicks down and the power comes in is, is very, very entertaining. I just love the way the, the power surges and I love the way the power comes in. These days, cars are very modern and very clever and their power is just instantaneous and very oh, what's the word predictable um, whereas this you've, you've really got to work for it you've got to get the car into its right power band and then it will reward you with this, this sensational wallop of torque it's, it's it's so addictive it's very fun and probably very expensive to use but it's worth it the last thing that I really love about this car is the bang for buck. The value for money you get for this car is unbelievable. So I've got the original receipt for this car and back when it was noon in 2003, this car cost £70,000. Um, and to put that into perspective, in today's money if you were to buy this car, you could buy it for £7,000. That's a tenth of what I, it was originally worth you buy for £7,000 and I just find it so remarkable because you get so much for your money. You get heated seats front and rear, you get parking sensors, you get cruise control, you get the glorious uh, twin turbo V8 at the front, you get the lovely soundtrack that goes with it, you get lo lovely furry headliner, you get the comfort and luxury side of things, you get a big SUV and you get, and then of course you get the Porsche badge that sits in front. So there we have it, they are the things that I love about my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Obviously there are loads of many different things that I also love about this car, but these are the one, these are the, the standout features that I love the most about the car. So there we have it everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would much appreciate it if you could share your support by uh, giving this video a like and any comments are welcome uh, and any ideas with the Porsche Cayenne Turbo are also very, very welcome. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.